Hi, I'm Atul and I am in London right now. Hi, I'm Paul and I'm in Burnley, Lancashire right now. Okay, so today we're going to look at another uh, KP equilibrium constant problem. And so we'll get straight into it. We'll use the ICE method like we've done before, initial change and what we've got at equilibrium. So initially, looking at the number of moles, we've got two moles of x and we've got nothing of y and z. The change we won't know yet but it tells us at equilibrium um, x was found to have undergone 20% dissociation so we know 20% of it has reacted and 10% of 2 would be 0 0.2, so 20% will be 0 0.4. So that's gone down by 0 0.4, and x to y is a 1 to 1 ratio, so y would have increased by 0 0.4. And z is a 1 to 2 ratio, x to z. So Z would have increased by 0 0.8. So what have we got at equilibrium? 2 take 0 0.4, 1.6, nothing add 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and nothing add 0 0.8, 0 0.8. And then there's just two more steps to do now. We've got the mole fraction. which is the number of moles at equilibrium divided by the total moles at equilibrium. So if we work out the total moles, 1.6 of 0.4 is 2, at 0.8 is 2.8. And so our mole fraction for x is 1.6 divided by 2.8. which is 0 0.571. Uh, we'll go to four significant figures, 0 0.5714. And then we have 0 0.4 divided by 2.8. 0 0.1429. And 0.8 divided by 2.8 and then we want the partial pressures of these and to get the partial pressure we multiply the mole fraction by the total pressure which we've been given in the equation here there's 8 times 10 to the 7, so 0 0.5714 times 8 times 10 to the 7 is a big number. Yeah, 4571 two three zeros and then 0.1429 times by 8 times 10 to the 7 so I'll just do this underneath 11432 and lots of three zeros and 0.2857 times 8 times 10 to the 7 is 2285600 zero, zero. and they're the partial pressures of x, y and z. So now if we write our equation for Kp and if we remember it's products over reactants 
we've got the partial pressure of y times by the partial pressure of z squared all divided by the partial pressure of x okay so now we just put our partial pressures in we've got the partial pressure of y which is one one four three two two three times by the partial pressure of z two two eight five six all divided by oh that's squared square yeah partial pressure of z squared divided by the partial pressure of x which is four five seven one two one two three and if we put that into our calculator we come out with 1.3 times 10 to the power 14 to two significant figures so now we just need to figure out our units so instead of putting numbers in the equation we'll put the units of pressure so that would be pascals times pascal squared over pascals pascal cancels top and bottom so we're left with units of pascal squared so our answer is 1.3 times 10 to the 14 pascal squared and there we've calculated kp great that's got an enormous number, is it? It's got a, it's like got a tangible significance, or it's just a, a degree of how, what the equilibrium is again, or yeah. Yes, it's a dissociation, so that's why we've got um, a large value of, of KP. We've got far more products than than reactants. Right. At, um, at equilibrium. And it's also um, that it's in pascals as well, because it could be in kilopascals, which would, would lower the value a little. Of course, okay, yeah. And of course, pascals are, um, I mean, even air pressure is quite a it's quite an enormous amount, so we just have to kind of yes. get used to the so idea. If, if, if this was in atmospheres, yeah. it would be an even lower value still. Mm. And in this case, um, the pascals don't cancel out, so that's why you do actually end up with a, a dimension unit. But obviously, like KC, the dimensions can vary depending on... Um, yeah, what cancels out in that equation or what doesn't see it. That's probably why you have to work out the units in every every case. Yes, where you've got different moles on either side of the equation, you, you will end up with units of, of Kp. The, the pressures won't cancel. So here we've got three moles on the right-hand side of the equation and one mole on the left-hand side. Yeah. So definitely... Uh, uh, bigger numerator so if you're going to use kp because it's just more going on in the right hand side more moles yes mm. okay great sounds good okay. it's another one here yeah. look forward to the next one yeah same here bye right. bye for now bye